Tacova's made a huge mistake with the release of their new limited edition boot, the Bryce. They marketed the release of this boot with these images, but when customers ordered it, literally all of them received a boot like this. Whoops! So what happened? Who's at fault? And what are they doing to make sure this doesn't happen again? I spoke with Decovas and have answers next. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I get the Tacova's emails and text messages just like many of you out there, so I can keep up to date on the boots that they're releasing, you know, what they look like, and so on. So I saw that the Bryce was coming. I didn't order them because Tacova's don't fit me that well. And I was also right in the middle of my own campaign for a giveaway of a pair of Cobra boots from Tim'sBoots.com. So I didn't know anything about what was happening and what is being called Bryce Gate until some of you reached out to me and encouraged me to make a video about what was happening with the Tacova's release. Shout out to Wes Medell for being the first. So naturally I started looking into it a little bit and then Tacova's reached out to me and I spoke to them about what happened. And I had three main questions. Where was the miscommunication that made a mistake like this possible? And my second question was, you know, there's a new CEO and C-suite at Tacova's. Could the mistake have been caused by the new leadership? And finally, my third main question was, what are they doing to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again? So let's start at the first one. Where was the miscommunication? The director of brand strategy told me that the mistake was made in the actual imagery and marketing of the boot. The Bryce was actually supposed to look like how you guys got it when it arrived at your house. She said they regularly get samples from their factory in Mexico and three boot boxes arrived months ago that had to do with the Bryce and they were all samples of the boot. The Tacova's team checked one of the boxes and used that one boot for the imagery in the marketing but in reality each box had a different style of boot in it. One box featured a pair of belly python boots or the back cut and it was the one that was used in the marketing imagery. Another box featured the back of the python or belly cut with no shaft design and the third box featured a pair of python back boots or belly cut with top stitching and the shaft design, just like the ones that everybody received. So Tacovas essentially played three card Monty and hustled themselves. They based their entire marketing campaign of the Bryce off of the pictures that they took of the wrong boot and they overlooked spec sheets. So everything looked good at the factory level, at the warehouse level, and nothing was caught by quality control because they never saw the marketing materials. That was only seen at the office office so everything looked right based on the direction other departments received and they never caught the mistake until it was too late many Tacova's customers who ordered the boot thinking they were going to get one style of snakeskin received a completely different style altogether which led me to my next question did the recent change in leadership cause this mistake as you guys know, Paul Hedrick is the founder and longtime CEO of Tacovas, but he was recently replaced at the CEO position by David Lafee. I'm told that Paul chose to step down from the CEO position because branding and product were his real passions and all of the business operations meetings were taking time away from what he really liked to do within Tacovas. So he basically played the founder card, which is cool and completely understandable. Like business operations sounds really boring. But the entire C-suite changed as well, so that can be a pretty big jolt to an organization which can lead to mistakes. The director of brand strategy told me that Lafie and his new C-suite really had nothing to do with this mistake other than just being the new leadership and everything is their fault now anyways. But Plans for boot releases at Tacovas take six months or more, and Lafie and his new C-suite started five months ago. So either the issue had already started or was just lost in the jumble of other things that come up when there's a change in leadership. When it comes down to it, it seems like it was more of a lots of responsibilities on a really small team kind of issue. 
They have the attitude that this is not one person's fault, one department's fault, but the entire company's fault that the miscommunication occurred. And that's all well and good that no one was fired or any one department is getting 100% of the blame, but what are they doing to make sure something like this doesn't happen again? They told me the obstacle is the opportunity and that they're trying to learn as much from this blunder as possible. Every Tacova's department is said to be putting together a full chain of events report so they can find every opportunity they have to catch or fix an issue like this in the future before it affects customers and the experience you have with a pair of Tacova's boots. Personally, I believe them and the fact that they're taking this very, very seriously. They have offered Bryce customers free returns and $100 off their next Tacovas purchase. Plus, they also told me that they might delay the next release of a limited edition Tacovas just because they are afraid that their process isn't quite honed in yet. So there might not be another limited edition Tacovas release this year in 2022. We'll have to see. This was definitely a rookie mistake and their brand took a hit, but they'll recover and we'll have to see what other changes they make in the months and the years to come. Give me your take down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Big blunder happened with the brass and Tacova's trying to make sure that it don't happen twice. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about those Cowtown Cobra boots. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.